Here's an example of using statistical process control using the automotive industry action group's data for individuals and moving range charts. Let's start over here. So we have our data, acid concentration. You see we have a no upper spec but a lower spec of 9. So we're going to start with the control chart wizard. It'll look at that and say that must be an individual's chart. It'll prompt us for titles. Draw the range chart first and then the X chart. And here you can see that we have a little bit of a problem, right? We have, we're below the center line here. We have some out of control points. And then we have uh, a bunch of points that are above two st uh, standard deviations here, above the one standard deviation. So these are, again, potentially out of control conditions. So our process really isn't in statistical process control. And we need to straighten all of this out before we actually go forth and actually start to uh, work on this. Now, we could take this data and drop it into our uh, control chart. Here's our XMR 4-pack. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the Alt-Tab key to shift back to the other data. I'm just going to select that and choose Copy. And then switch back over, and I'm going to paste that in. And that will give us our control chart data. Eliminate the blanks in here so we can see everything. Now we have no upper spec, so we can clear that. But we do have a lower spec of 9. And that gives us a CPK of 0.45, which says that our process really isn't going to be in any kind of control here or any kind of capability. So we need to go out and straighten out all these issues with our charts with our process before we can actually move forward and do capability analysis on this particular bit of data. But that's how easy it can be to do statistical process control using the QI macros and the QI macros templates.